everyone it is king benji over here and you are welcome back to yet another video okay so in this video we're going to be playing around with like one or two image effects and we may just combine everything with the text effect that we learned during the last few videos to create a design okay so here is the image i've already brought in okay so if you go over to effects here you can scroll to you can see there are different ones here smart mockup shadow let me first show you something about shadow just going to click here just click on shadows this is basically to create a shadow like before behind the behind the image so i'm going to click on drop okay as you can see the shadow has already been created i'm just going to click on the adjust here you can now come and adjust how like now you can adjust the transparency the angle okay depending on where you view the light source is coming from or something like that you can see the offsets and there's the bottom okay this is the way like the position which you want it to be there's this top right um bottom right there's also bottom and there's bottom left and so on and so forth though i rarely use um I rarely use this one. There's yeah, also the option here to blur, as you can see. You can just blur and reduce the transparency to make it look more realistic. If it's on a darker background, you can increase the transparency. Okay. And here is also the color you may want to give it. Okay. So let's say let me show you guys a trick. Um I'm going to change the color of this I'm going to change the color of this to yellow or well, this gold that is there and let me just reduce the offset a little bit okay and I'm just going to go to blur I'm going to reduce the blur and I'm going to increase the transparency okay are you guys seeing this now you can now see it's not like an outline that is there okay so let me show you the better way to show you is with um the other form of the shadow let me show you shadows then this glow here I'm going to increase the size okay let's increase the size and then i'm now going to go to color and i can make it um this yellow here so as you can see I'm just going to click on done so you can see it here but i'm just going to bring let me just bring a background here so that we may see our work very well I'm just going to go to brigand let's see which um nice background we can use here let's try this one and then i'm just going to change the color and just try out um let me just scroll down to like you know let's try anything Oh, I can just um, just try in this hex code here. Let me see zero zero F F. Oh, Jesus, zero zero F F B two. Okay, great. So we have a nice background over here. So as you can now see the whole glow thingy. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys another way to do this. I need to delete this image because we have already done the whole. And by the way, if you want to add another, you can also add another um, shadow to this if you want. You just go to shadows, then um, click on the. Oh, let me not. Sorry, let's not click on glow. Let's click on, let's say, drop. Mm hmm. And you can now go ahead and just we're going to reduce this offset and then now increase the blur. You can see the really nice look that it now has. Okay, so that's it for shadows. Thus, you can go ahead and also play with any of this. 
kind of shadow effect if you want to so i'm just going to delete this probably let's just try so let me just also show you something about um frame let's say you want to put it inside a phone frame or this one here okay then you can just go and click on the adjust and just adjust the position here okay great so <laughs> this is not the main thing that i want to do i'm just trying to show you you know way around stuff i'm going to delete the image and i'm going to bring it back in again so i'm just going to go to uploads then to bring in this one great so let's say we just want to create a design let me just adjust and make increase our image a little bit Great. So this is what I want to do. I'm going to duplicate this image here. As you can see, I've duplicated it. And I'm going to go to effects. And I'm going to go to a deal tone. We are going to do the same thing that we did with that shadow. But this one is more traditional. This one, I love this one because it feels like I have more control over what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm just going to firstly let's do something here. Yeah? Um, because the color I want to bring in is not going to show you so let's just keep this one for now or I'm just going to show you how to do also do a shadow effect like traditional normal traditionally so I'm just going to reduce the brightness increase the contrast reduce the saturation and then I'm just going to increase the blur okay then i think i'm going to just increase the blur a little bit more yes and i'm going to place it behind let's go to position and put it backward so i'm just going to you know adjust it the way i want it to be adjusted okay so we are now going to bring in some text let's just go ahead to bring in some text so i'm going to click on the plus icon here let's go to text going to click on add the heading I'm going to put it here and we are going to change the font now the font i want to use is bangers okay and there are this other font here let me show you where i got the one of those garrett extra bold and the rest i just search for sans serif and as you can see there are different ones here okay it's a garrett book garrett extra bold and you know there are lots of other ones here i think bangas should be part of um let's see should use all those decorative or i don't know why i can't really remember where i saw it but either way it's not really important now so we're going to choose bangas for this okay and uh, what i want to write is friday Okay, I'm going to increase the size. I'm going to change the color to white. Okay, let me increase the size again a little bit. Let me check out the font size. Let's say it's 52. Great. So I'm going to now add some effects to the text. Let's first add some shadow. I'm going to go firstly to the color. I want to change it to black. And I'm going to increase the blur to around 76 or 75. Reduce the transparency to 20. Great. Next thing I would like to do is also to add another effect, which is curve. Now, for curve, I don't want the curve to be too much. As you can see, it looks more irritating if I just leave it like that. And don't make that mistake. Try, and try as much. This is what makes a design to look good. Try as much to make it look realistic. Just like how it looks around you. How um, it 
just like if you're a lady you like all those nice dresses and you know how it just looks like okay yeah so i'm going to reduce maybe make this curve 32 no i'm just going to bring it here great the whole idea i want to like place it behind our head thing so i'm going to now go to position place it backward let me go to position again i think i need to put it at the center yeah center this anti two is already at the center so i'm just going to duplicate this guy here i'm going to change the font to garrett extra bold garrett extra bold and i'm going to put an exclamation it's like saying what it's friday like somebody's like screaming it you know i'm going to change the color here to yellow so i'm just going to search for yellow here okay like i showed you earlier you're going to like see different you know, shades of yellow here you know so i'm just going to click on this one because this is one i want and because it is bright okay um let me reduce the font here a little bit let's say 610 just going to bring it down here just going to rotate it a bit Okay, I will see you adjust to do that yet. So I'm going to go to format and I'm going to make it bold because I want it, yes, is I want it to look like. Okay, I'm just going to go to nudge and just adjust it a little bit. Okay, the main thing I wanted to do was also get this yellow color though. I'm going to now duplicate this guy again. I'm going to remove that bold format and i want to write is this the bold okay it's not a bold now i want to write um thank god it's so thank god god it's okay i'm going to reduce the font size to around probably one one hundred Nah, a small. 110. 110 should be okay. I think. Yes. Um, and I'm now going to increase um make it all caps. Okay. And also I want to reduce the curve on it. I want to reduce the curve. So I'm just going to go to effects, shape, go here, and then make this like five. Yeah, I think that's better. I'm just going to rotate it to be normal. And I'm going to place it here. I'm going to use notch to do that. Just going to go to effects once more. And I'm just going to increase the transparency of this a little bit. Okay. Let's say like 240. Great. I'm just use notch to place it down. A little bit well great okay that's not again to place at all okay so that's good now you've gotten the whole color that we wanted to achieve which was yellow that was the main color we wanted to achieve in the first place so I'm now going to now duplicate this lady's image I'm going to go to effects i'm going to go to dual tone and click on cherry here and now i'm going to change the color to yellow okay i'm going to change the color to yellow okay you're going to change highlight and shadow to yellow so that the whole picture will change you can also you can use dual tone to change the color of anything of literally anything okay yeah i wish i had a logo here i would have shown you guys something okay so i'm just going to wait up for network to make this load 
okay so it's finally loaded and i can just go here go to position and i'm going to place it backward now note i'm placing it backward only once i'm not placing it backward like to the back not behind the sh shadow that is here okay so i'm going to show you that step again so just click backward now and backward again okay now i'm going to now go to nudge and I'm just going to taste it wow okay great so it's just kind of like uh sorry let us just adjust the shadow which is here a little bit i think i'll need to go to position and place this text to the back on the shadow to be touching it yes so i'm just going to go to nudge and just shift this a bit okay so yeah this is just like a mini design already um i would love to show you guys a little bit more let's just make this look more instead of just making the design look so simple let's it look more nice and classic okay so that is what i'm going to show you guys in the next one